All right, today we're going to talk about toxic metals, another important topic in environmental health because toxic metals can adversely have impact on our health. Uh, today's class is divided into three modules. In the first module, we will talk about uh, major toxic metals such as arsenic, cadmium, mercury, and lead. In the second module, we will talk about trace metals that are essential for our life and to maintain our health but are at trace level. Examples are copper, zinc, and iron. And the last module is about metals that are used for medical therapy such as aluminum and lithium. Uh, let's just start with some basic. What is heavy metal? Well, we're not talking about music. Uh, heavy metals are metals that have very high density. Their density is greater than 5 grams uh, per cubic centimeter and are very toxic even at very, uh, even at, uh, very low concentrations. Some examples of heavy metals are arsenic, lead, mercury, also cadmium and uranium. Uh, some of the main characteristics of heavy metals are heavy metals can be naturally found in earth's crust and cannot be uh, degraded or destroyed. Uh, in a small extent, they can enter our bodies through food, like when you eat a specific fish, mercury may enter our body. Uh, they can also enter our body through uh, drinking water, like from uh, old pipelines that are made of lead. Uh, they can leach into our drinking water. Uh, or uh, through, the, through the air, like dust of aluminum or dust of copper, uh, small, small particles can enter our bodies. At a uh, high concentration, they can result in poisoning and cause severe uh, adverse health effect on internal organs and uh, can cause physical and mental problems that we will talk about them in the next few slides. Uh, some occupations have higher exposure to toxic metals, like people who work with metals frequently. And a uh, low level of exposure is among children uh, contacts with the environment. For example, heavy metals like cadmium, copper, and lead is sometimes used in children's toys. Uh, also, children may ingest uh, uh, lead in paint, uh, which may result in elevated blood lead level. Uh, especially in areas with old, build old buildings. Uh, elevated blood lead level is associated with IQ, with lower IQ and lower uh, learning ability. Uh, heavy metals can have serious uh, impacts on the health of children because they have a smaller body size and through ingesting or inhaling or uh, drinking heavy metals, a uh, higher proportion of or higher dosage of heavy metals can be entered their bodies. Obviously, when we say children, we should also consider fetus and infants in this category. Exposure to heavy metals for this group can cause adverse effects both physically and mentally. Uh, physical and mental health such as damages to internal organs and nervous system uh, like lower learning abilities and becoming anti-social person or uh, some form of cancers even at low age or even uh, may lead to death. Uh, also, health effects of exposure to heavy metal depend on the gender and varies in men and women. Actually, the uh, effects of exposure to heavy metals in women is uh, more serious than men and this is because of two main reasons first uh, hormonal and metabolic uh, process related to menstruation pregnancy and uh, menopause in uh, women and also naturally women accumulate higher concentration of heavy metals in their bodies such as cadmium and lead uh, compared to men uh, that's why women are at higher risk of exposure to heavy metals uh, than men. Uh, now let's talk about major toxic metals one by one. Uh, the first one is arsenic. Uh, the atomic uh, number of arsenic is 33, which indicates 
uh, the number of proton and atomic mass of uh, 74 which indicates a relatively high density of the arsenic arsenic naturally can be found in environment in groundwater in mineral ores and in uh, industrial processes such as pesticides uh, in some parts of the world especially in south uh, asia like uh, bangladesh and taiwan and south america such as mexico argentina and chile uh, naturally high level of arsenic in the drinking water can be found uh, this map uh, shows the geographic distribution of arsenic in the united states uh, the data were sampled from groundwater collected from wells in this country and uh, red dots uh, shows uh, arsenic level is higher than 10 microgram per liter in some regions of some states arsenic is highly uh, concentrated greater than 50 microgram per liter such as in california new mexico and utah if you ingest more than 100 milligram of arsenic, it uh, can cause acute poisoning. Uh, arsenic is called king of poisons. Here are two famous historical disasters due to arsenic contamination. In 1900, in England, almost 6,000 people poisoned because of drinking arsenic contaminated beer. Or in mid uh, 20th century in Japan, uh, thousands of people poisoned because of arsenic contaminated dry milk and soy sauce uh, question here is who are at higher risk of exposure to arsenic uh, miners and smelters uh, because arsenic is frequently found in mineral ores and also agricultural workers who come into contact with pesticides because arsenic is also frequently found in some pesticides and uh, low-level exposure to arsenic is associated with melanosis, uh, which is a dark pigmentation of the skin, spotted or for entire body, like this picture. Uh, arsenic is a carcinogen and can cause several cancers. It can cause lung cancer if inhaled, and it can cause skin cancer if ingested. And also, uh, it's been linked to several cancers, such as bladder, kidney, and liver cancers. Uh, that might be a reason of elevated uh, level of bladder cancer mortality in Argentina and Taiwan, which have higher concentration of arsenic in drinking water. Uh, the next heavy metal is cadmium. It has a very large density per uh, centimeter cube. Uh, cadmium is mainly found in all type of uh, soils, rocks, and coals, and also fertilizers that are derived from the mineral. It can also is being used in batteries, coating of metals, electronics, and recently is being used in nano uh, particle manufacturing. Uh, cadmium can have adverse effects on our health. It can cause problems such as uh, renal damage, uh, bone disease, hypertension, and cardiovascular diseases. It is also a carcinogen. Uh, who are at higher risk of exposure to cadmium? cigarette smokers because of the tobacco which is a plant that is in uh, that is found in cigarettes and the plants get the nutrient from soil and remember soil is an important source of cadmium uh, the amount of cadmium in tobacco depends on the origin of the plant and uh, the next high risk group to cadmium are vegetarians because cadmium can be found in soils which can uh, contaminate them uh, the next uh, toxic heavy metal is mercury, which is, which as you uh, see, has a very high density. Uh, mercury is the only liquid metal at room temperature. Uh, this figure shows the cycle of uh, mercury. Mercury is emitted from uh, smokestacks into the atmosphere, and then it comes back to the land surface through precipitation, and uh, in water. Uh, in lakes, it is converted to methyl mercury, and the met methyl mercury is absorbed by bacteria and fungi in water. And bacteria and fungi are uh, foods for fish. So when we catch the fish and we eat the fish, uh, it indirectly uh, we indirectly eat mercury. Uh, as I said, uh, fish uh, can ingest a great amount of methyl mercury, some specific type of fish, 
uh, such as swordfish and shark contain a uh, high level of mercury some fish can contain medium level of mercury such as tuna and mahi mahi and some contain low level of mercury such as salmon and trout uh, look at this uh, looking at the bright side looking at the bright side there are uh, also benefits in mercury for instance mercury is used to treat syphilis which is a sexual transmitted disease uh, it can also be used as dental amalgam to fill cavities. Previous research has shown that the amalgam cannot pose a health risk uh, to the patient because it's an elementary type of uh, mercury. On the other hand, high-risk uh, groups for mercury are unborn children of pregnant women. Uh, that's why pregnant women should avoid eating a specific fish that contain high level of mercury such as swordfish and shark however they can eat a variety of fish uh, uh, that are in lower uh, amount in mercury two or uh, three serving per week uh, but seafood with high level of mercury can cause toxic effects on the nervous system vision and memory loss and uh, an adverse impacts on lungs and kidneys uh, one of the most well-known disaster resulting from mercury contamination occurred in Minamata, Japan in 1956 uh, that about 3,000 people who ate contaminated fish with methylmercury got the disease and the name of the disease is after the name of the location, Minamata. Uh, Minamata causes adverse effects like deafness, poor vision, uh, drowsiness and frequently can lead to death. This picture shows a person with Minamata disease. The next heavy metal that uh, we're going to talk about is lead. And uh, some examples of sources of lead that we may expose to are leaded gasoline, old plumbing fixture, and lead painting pottery. In the past, lead was frequently used. For example, uh, lead was added to gasoline to improve performance of combustion engines. And it was also added to paint to improve coating durability and adherence. Experiments uh, have shown that uh, some paints that were used before 1950s had contained 50% or more of lead. Uh, here are some examples of lead. Uh, lead, lead from peeling paint that uh, was used in old house painting could compromise health of infants and children. And coating or glazing dishes uh, is another source of lead. Uh, because it because lead could leach into the food uh, we briefly talked about the negative impact of lead in toxicology lecture exposure to lead is associated with serious central nervous uh, effect elevated blood lead level is associated with lower IQ uh, population based studies have shown that for every 10 microgram per deciliter of blood lead level in body there will be five point decreases in IQ level. So elevated blood lead level uh, decreases learning abilities of children and also can cause other negative impacts such as aggression, uh, uh, hyperactivity, antisocial uh, behavior, and learning disability. Uh, in 1978, the use of lead in paint and gasoline banned in the United States and the result was that the percentage of blood lead level in children constantly decreased from almost uh, 8% to uh, almost 0.5% uh, half of the uh, percent in the year 2015 which is also associated with the economic uh, growth now let's move on to the uh, next group of metals which are called trace metals Trace metals are essential for our life in low level, but at high level can be toxic. Uh, examples of trace metals are copper, zinc, and iron. Uh, some major characteristics of trace metals, uh, they are essential metals for our life in a trace amount. Uh, some examples are iron, copper, and zinc. Insufficient amount of uh, trace metal is associated with dietary deficiencies and lack of trace metal causes some organism fail to thrive or stop working 
On the other hand, uh, high concentration of trace metal can cause toxicity. So uh, to maintain our health, optimal range of trace metals are necessary for our body. Uh, let's talk about important trace metals such as copper, zinc, and iron. The first one is copper. Copper is an uh, essential metal for our health in, in a trace amount, and, and it naturally exists uh, in soil and rock. Uh, some examples of application of this reddish metal are electric wires, pipes, and alloys uh, when combined with other metals. It is also used as wood and leather preservatives and is uh, a potential uh, contaminant for tap water. Because when tap water stands in copper pipes for a long time or overnight, a small amount of copper can leach into water and cause elevated copper level. Uh, exposure to copper through dust of copper above trace uh, level can produce respiratory and uh, gastrointestinal disturbances. Uh, mild respiratory effects of being exposed to copper are irritation of respiratory tract, uh, like nose and mm, mouth, and uh, gastrointestinal effects such as vomiting, diarrhea, nausea, and stomach cramping. A uh, very high amount of copper can cause liver uh, damage, uh, renal or kidney damage, and death. But keep in mind that although copper can be very toxic, it is not a carcinogen. The next trace metal is zinc, and uh, zinc is also essential to maintain our health in a trace amount. Uh, zinc can be found in a variety of foods uh, like red meat, uh, seafood in general, spinach, and nuts. It is also can be found in drinking water, especially if they are stored in metal containers or uh, flow through zinc-coated pipes. Zinc can be found in batteries and as alloys. Uh, like brass, bronze, uh, when combined with other metals. Who are at higher risk of exposure to zinc? Same as always, children and pregnant women. Uh, in children, previous research have shown that insufficient intake of zinc is correlated with low socioeconomic status because zinc is obtained mainly from food. Uh, poverty is associated with inadequate intake of zinc and may result in higher incidence of infectious diseases. Also, uh, zinc is essential in uh, maintaining the health of a pregnant woman. Inadequate uh, intake of zinc during pregnancy may adversely impact health of fetus like uh, physical development and neuro uh, behavioral development. Uh, iron is the next trace metal. Iron is important for the growth of cells and mm, transports oxygen within circulatory system. Almost 66% of iron is used in red blood cells to transport oxygen. We have two bad situations for iron, deficiency of iron and overload of iron. Uh, deficiency of iron is caused uh, anemia. This picture shows normal blood cells, but uh, when a person uh, gets anemia, number of red blood cells decreases and the result is constant fatigue and lower immunity of body. Uh, the most common reason for anemia in women is because of heavy menstruation and pregnancy since uh, they, because they lose red blood. Uh, the second bad situation of iron is uh, iron overload because iron naturally has a capacity to accumulate in our body uh, particularly in liver. Uh, this picture shows a uh, healthy liver and iron uh, overloaded liver. You can see iron deposit here since iron can be built up in liver. Uh, excessive amount of iron can have adverse effects such as vomiting, diarrhea, and damages to human in intestine. It can also produce low blood pressure, lethargy, and uh, neurologic effects such as seizures and liver injury. Uh, finally, third group of heavy metals that are uh, used in medical therapy. Uh, two well-known uh, heavy metals in this category are lithium and aluminum. Lithium is used for depression therapy and, and aluminum is a recyclable metal and has very low uh, weight. 
aluminum has numerous useful properties but the most important one is uh, aluminum is uh, thought to be associated with uh, Alzheimer's disease in this module we will only talk about aluminum uh, we are widely exposed to aluminum every day uh, this silver white and light metal is widely used in food and beverage container pots and pan uh, it is also widely used in various uh, medicines such as aspirin and, and anti-aspirin and also cosmetics uh, low level exposure to aluminum is not harmful but uh, exposure to uh, aluminum dust can cause respiratory problems such as exacerbation of asthma uh, findings of uh, research suggest that aluminum is linked to Alzheimer uh, some research has shown people who are exposed to high level aluminum may develop Alzheimer but other studies didn't find any association so there is no solid evidence that aluminum is increased in the brain of the people with Alzheimer disease and uh, as you know Alzheimer is a shrinkage of body size uh, because of loss of brain cell and memory